Edition tutorial for Platoon. My name is Oliver and this is what we will create. We will do a very easy and simple transition from left to right with this grungy halftone dots. Just to give you an idea what is Platoon for in your daily workflow and what it can do for you. So let's get started. First make a new composition, composition, new composition, make it HD or whatever your composition should fit. We have a 2K cinemascope. I leave it at on 10 seconds, have a black background and say OK. So first is I bring in my both footages, which is HUD 4 and HUD 2. And I want to blend from HUD 4 to HUD 2. So I bring the HUD 2 all the way down to here. And the next is I select hut number four and I want to have an adjustment layer. So new layer, adjustment layer. And onto that adjustment layer, I will apply platoon. It starts always with a checker pattern. And if you change the blend mode from normal to screen, you will see that you can blend also between both layers. We need a alpha channel, so let's change the blend mode from uh, screen to silhouette luma. And this gives me a perfect alpha channel because this now works as a stencil, as you see. And first I click this little thumbnail here and I want to go to my half tone patterns and I want to choose this one. So now I have these little bubbles here and I want to mix that, so select the platoon and make a copy, string D on the keyboard, so I have another instance of platoon. And I want to have some grungy looking, so I go to my grunge section and I choose this texture and set the transfer mode to Solid Luma, that, that's okay. I want to have more of the image quality here going on, so I invert the patterns color so this is what I got now. I have this grungy background thing here and my my dots. And uh, yeah, so far so good. So next is I need to have a mask for that. I simply select the adjustment layer, go to my mask tool and draw a mask. I go back to my arrow here, to my select key and uh, go to my mask settings, hit MM on the keyboard and feather the mask to, let's say, 150 pixels. This gives me this little soft edge here. And next is I have to animate that over time for the duration of my transition. So with the arrow selected, I select the first of these uh, anchor points, select all of them, hit the stopwatch on the mask path. I want to have the transition for one and a half seconds, like so. And I drag all these things over to the right side. So this is my animation. Here we go, from left to right. So the next thing is I want the transition start, start at six seconds. So I drag my adjustment layer to the point where I want my transition to start. And I have to cut this HUD4 layer. So I hit string shift D on the keyboard to cut that on this position. And now if I change the track mat to Luma inverted, you will see that I have a perfect look through to my grid between those two uh, layers. So the final thing is to only have to blend these uh, HUD 4 layer with the uh, HUD 2 layer. So for that I simply select the HUD 4 layer on the time when my transition uh, should start and double click the mask tool. Now it draws me a perfectly fitting mask over my uh, HUD. I go to my mask settings, hitting MM on the keyboard, check the clock watch on mask path, select my first point and my second point, go to my to the time where the transition should be finished and drag that all over. 
a little bit more than the comp. Here we go. And as you see, it stays, it blends very hard between those two layers. And I go to my mask feather and feather that out to, let's say, 100. One problem you see, now I have a perfect soft edge here, but I have also a soft edge here on, on both th sides of the, of the mask. So to achieve that, I go to my first keyframe, select those two points and drag them all the way down. And also these two points, bring them all the way up until I don't have a blend here and that should make it fine. So now I have a perfect blend with this grungy uh, dot level over time from left to right. And this is how easy you can achieve this transition. You can save that as a preset if you like to and you can also play with the overlay settings. So if you, for example, like it more grungy, you can always go back to your um, pattern, to your uh, adjustment layer, go to platoon to the second instance, hit D on the keyboard, for example, uh, and take this lines here. Maybe you like to scale them up. You see what happened there or you invert the patterns color backwards. So this is what you got. It's not so grungy. The, the grunge only affects on this, uh, on this lines here. I bring back the invert patterns color. So I think that looks better. And I make another instance, string D on the keyboard. And I choose this very hard grunge pattern and invert the patterns color knot backwards. So now I have much more grungy pattern here, or you want to select another halftone pattern, go back to your halftone patterns and try this one, for example, or you try this one. May you like to invert the patterns color. So it's up to you how to, um, manipulate your overlays. Let's hide this and this to see what's going on there. This is very useful and quite easy to achieve and a very cool effect for transitions. And you can push that in any directions you like to. Um, for example, if you like to offset all these things, simply make a new solid string Y on the keyboard, make it comp size, hit OK, drag another platoon to it, go to grid, choose these li uh, line styles for example, and just simply animate that over time during the transition to here. I will offset the offset point. I will offset, I will animate the offset point, clicking stopwatch here, go into here and offset that, let's say to something like so. Then I will hide that layer, go to my adjustment layer where I have the transition on, put a displacement layer on, Placement map on the adjustment layer. No, that's the wrong one. Adjustment layer, displacement map. Choose my black solid. Choose the effects and masks. Set that to luminance and bring that up to let's say 30 or 35 and you see what happened there you got these line styles additionally over this transition effect 
and so you can bring more details into your transition and you can combine the platoon with other standard After Effects uh, effects to, to achieve a very cool um, design of a transition. That could be horizontal from left to right, from, from top to bottom, um, circling, whatever you like to. So the basic idea is having a transition map very easy to uh, manipulate over a mask between two layers to get this cool transition effect. Hope you enjoyed that tutorial, hope you watch our other tutorials and hope you get an idea what is all possible with Platoon in your daily workflow. My name is Oliver, see you next time, bye!